Ta da! <coughs> One of these days I'll have someone who can operate my camera for me, then people will be able to see my face a little better. Um, today is Adventures in Jesus. Um, things that Christ can take you through if you um, if you follow after him do the things like he did for instance um, turning the other cheek and that type of thing ha has a payoff um, you'll get to see people saved you know <clears throat> because you do that type of thing the more Christ like you become the more effective you are for him um, and for instance today this just happened to me today um, I was um, delivering rolls to the press I work at a printing place these rolls are huge man they're uh, 5,000 pound rolls they're 50 inches round that's that's about as wide as you can stretch your arms like this and uh, <clears throat> about big around the kitchen table I guess uh, medium sized kitchen table anyways I was and I taller 60 inches or so tall so anyway um, I was pulling up to the uh, this press and uh, this fella kind of being obnoxious he goes get over here and help me strip this roll blah 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 you know and I could have turned around and walked away and said forget you buddy stop being so rude you know but I didn't do that I hopped off a truck and I said what's the problem we talked you know and I says look I said anytime you need help I says come over and just ask me I says I'll come and help you so him and I, we stripped paper off that roll for, I don't know how long, 25 minutes, a good 25 minutes, while the other roll was running down. So on this press, it actually changes roll without stopping. So, and you only got so much time before that paper runs off the other roll. So, and he was down to about, uh, when we finally got it done, he was down to probably five six seven minutes something like that and that's pretty close um, <clears throat> to um, um, to the next row before I was, you know that's cutting it close so and anyways when he got done he was he looked over and there was still some more tear on the other row the one he was getting ready to paste onto or fixing it so it could paste onto and uh, um, he says, uh, you know, because I know he's a Christian too, and we talk about the Lord sometimes. And he says, um, uh, uh, says, be praying, you know, because I need to get this done. And I said, the Lord, the Bible says, the Lord knows the dis knows the discernment of your heart. So I says, in that fashion, I am praying, you know. So, anyways, when, uh, you know, he's getting ready to go, he found something else wrong, and he had to go all the way around the edge of the roll with his sandpaper, knocking off the edge of that roll. And right when he got ready, you know, about ready to paste on, he says, he says, well, he says, the Lord's going to have to help us with uh, this roll going, says, because, you know, there's just so much wrong with the thing. <laughs> that um, he said it's like it's going to take a miracle so anyways so I said a little prayer and went and got him another roll came back and it was about ready to go then to paste on the other one because it's an automatic thing so when I waited there for a couple minutes so it went and then it pasted on it and it didn't go out you know sometimes the paper just fly everywhere and it goes out and the press goes down well <clears throat> It never. They was praying for it not to, and it never. And so, 
uh, he went on up toward the front, and I was still left at the back, and I wrote on his the roll that was left because there was like three or four sheets of paper usually left on the roll where it, excuse me where it pastes off of, you know. And so I just wrote on that little sheets of paper I wrote. Don't forget to thank him. <laughs> And put a little cross on there. And I was thinking, well, I'll go back later and see if he did. But I got busy and didn't get to didn't get to uh, go back and check on anything. And and uh, so I happened to go into the bathroom and I met. I was going one way and he's going the other. And uh, and he says, well, by the way, I didn't forget to thank him. <laughs> I said, well, that's good. So, you know, that's a little venture that Jesus led me through because I care enough to follow after him and the things I do. I wish I could say that for uh, all of my family. I'll tell you the truth, I think I might be the only Christian in my family as far as following the Lord and the things that, that I do. <clears throat> now, the rest of them will profess Christianity but they don't do those things. Um, they don't follow after the Lord by action. They just follow after the Lord by lip. You know? They talk about it. They talk a good game. They don't go to church. Um, they don't witness to other people. They don't. They don't preach. They don't sing music at church. They don't um, go around and talk to the neighbors about the Lord. They, the subject just don't come up with them, you know. But yet, when you talk to them about the Lord, they're saved. Uh, well, I tell you what, man, I'm concerned about my family because I don't think I don't think a lot of them's going to make it. And I, you know, when I talk to them about it, all they do is get mad at me. So, <clears throat> and I'm I really don't know what to do except pray. That's about all you can do when people, you know. My family is real obnoxious. I mean, they're worse than a fella. I mean, I've gotten to the point where I just want to just stay away from them, you know. And the Bible does tell us that that uh, people that always rubbing you wrong, you need just to stay away from them. Pray for them. Let somebody else go and and. Uh, That's a card I forgot I had. Um, let somebody else witness to them. You know, maybe they'll be a lot more effective than I am because I think right now maybe the best thing I can do, and this is like another adventure, the best thing I can do is for my family to stay away from them. Because every once in a while when they think about me, they'll think about the reason, which is a godly reason, and, you know, that'll make them... And it's the same thing with Christ. See, Christ left this place, and he's not here right now because, because of sin. There is coming a time when Christ will dwell with us, but the sin factor has to be dealt with first. So, you know, and in that fashion, we can, we can be a bigger witness to family and to other people, some of the other people that we know really well. Um, what about the ones that don't think about me? Well, you know, that's between them and God. That's between them and God. And we do the best we can. And we'll keep on having adventures in Jesus. Amen. Alrighty, God bless. And uh, join me again later tomorrow when I have another great subject right here, Crossing the Middle Ministry.